What's up, everybody? You're watching the From WordPress to Statomic YouTube channel. My name is Michael. You may have noticed recently that Statomic made an update to this page, uh, which is switching from WordPress to Statomic right here in their docs. There's a lot that we can highlight here. Uh, I mean, just look at the table of contents. We're talking about a lot of different things, and we just talk about it from a surface level, but there are a lot of things we can dig into pretty deeply. Let's talk about number two, Gutenberg and Block or Page Builders. So I'm just gonna click on there and scroll down. Um, so it's talking about the BARD and Replicator fields. I see this a lot in discussion forums. Do I use BARD or Replicator for making my page layouts? Is it one or the other? And really the answer is always, it depends. But in most situations, you're probably gonna to wanna to lean on both to a certain degree to achieve something similar to what you might find in WordPress. Let's take a look, for example, at the starter kit that I'm working on. Uh, so we've got a bunch of different stuff on the homepage here. You've got this hero, this, this intro section, this sort of like tab, explore thing, recent posts. Like these are, these are all just different content blocks within the page. Let's dive in and see how we put this together in the back end. So I go into the dashboard. And first, let's talk about blueprints and field sets. So if we go to blueprints, uh, this is where you will define how each collection is configured, like what kind of content or what kind of field sets we want included on a given collection. For example, for the page, let me just go into there. Uh, you can see I've got a bunch of different stuff here uh, for the page. You know, I've got these different sections. Generally, this is just the title, uh, some other configuration options. And down here, I've got a page builder section, which is referencing this field set called page builder. So if I was to go in uh, to a page and edit it, for example, let's go to the home page. You'll see these sections that correspond to what we were just looking at in the blueprint. There's this general, the page config, and then down here is the page builder. And these are all the different things that are configured in there. And I can drag and drop them to just to reorder all the things that I want in the page. And down here, if I want to add a new one, I can select it from here. And right now I've, they're categorized into two different types where there's like interactive ones uh, or just sort of straight up content. But what does the field set actually look like? Okay, I go over, let's go over to that field sets. So the one we were talking about was called page builder. And you can see that uh, this field set has one field in it called page builder. But what it actually is, is a, it's called a replicator. And if I scroll down here, you can see this manage sets. This is where I configure all the different kinds of fields that I wanna have available. These correspond to all the things that we were just looking at, uh, right, these interactive ones, there's things that you click around with, the Google map, the tabs explorer. And if I go over the content here, right, these are just the content kind of uh, blocks, right? There's this hero, intro, accordion, and some other stuff. And these are all the things that are available in my page builder. If I look at uh, over here on my homepage, for example, um, this is all the markup in the homepage. There's nothing else here. Uh, I mean, everything's inside of a template, but we'll talk about that another time. But the home page, all it does is it renders my page builder. And with this tag pair, it's looping over all of them. And then for each one, I'm rendering a partial. And it, it corresponds to the page builder directory, which is over here. And I'm passing in the type. So it could be hero, for example, uh, for the first one. If I go back over here, right, this is my hero. And if I go into my page builder directory, I've got one called hero. And this is where all of the markup happens for this one and all the fields. So I got background option, uh, for example, a background image, right? All these corresponds to fields over here. So if I go over to my hero, right? There's my uh, background image and I can do what I want with the code in the template. And then like we saw before, I can just drag and drop to reorder them in the page uh, in any way that, that suits me. The barred field is a little bit different. So let's go over back to our blueprints now, looking at the blueprint for my blog, you can see on the main section here, I've got a title and a field set, and you can see it's it's different from what we had in the pages, which was a replicator. This one is, is called blog content with sets. And we'll go explore that in just a second. In the sidebar over here, we've got some, uh, some SEO stuff, uh, we've got an image, uh, and this corresponds to the other things that are gonna appear on the page. Uh, but if I go back to the main one, let's look at blog content with sets. Now, if I go to my field sets, and blog content with sets is right here. 
and here we go. This is just a barred field called content. And if I scroll down to the bottom to see the configuration here, uh, what's similar to what we looked at with the replicator is that this has sets as well. But these sets are unique to this field. And in this case, these ones can be injected directly in line with our text content. So you can see we've got a block quote, image carousel, some tabbed content. Uh, I'm not gonna probably configure as much stuff here as I might in my page builder replicator uh, because something that's gonna be mixed in with just regular text content uh, probably doesn't need to be quite as elaborate. And the use case is probably gonna be a little bit more restricted anyway, but that's gonna be up to you. Now, if I go back to edit one of my blog posts, let's go back here and it, let's look at that sample post. Okay, so here's some of those fields we're looking at, right? There's the image, categories, and all that kind of stuff. And here is that content uh, barred field. Now, if I was to click in here, you see um, there's this little add set button that appears, you know, whenever I create, uh, you know, the opportunity for a new line, see, like, just like that. And if I can click there, let's, let's just go up here, add set. And this pulls up the sets that we had defined as part of this field. Let's just go with the block quote for now. And we can say this is my block quote. And it's a. Uh, I didn't even spell my own name right. Dr. Vossum. Let's go with that. Okay. So now let's go back to the front and we'll give it a refresh. And so you see right in line with my regular content inside the barred field, I have my set. And just like we had with rep the replicator over here with the page builder, I have another directory called sets and the block quote is defined right in there. And so I have complete control over the markup that's gonna appear here and I can do kind of anything that I choose to do. And how do I know which directory we're looking at? Well, if I go into my uh, blog show page, uh, right down here. Now I've got this barred content field uh, and it's using a tag pair so that it's just basically looping over everything in there. And if it's a set, we're going to reference the set inside of um, its own file in that directory, which we defined there. Keeps things nice and tidy. And if I wanna change one thing or another, it's fairly trivial to do so. So this is the difference between the replicator field and the barred field with sets. With Replicator, you'll use that probably to make your main uh, page layouts and blocks that you can reorder. And with Bard, you might configure your sets just like this, where it's good things that are going to be in line. But the way that you do that is going to be totally up to you. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to sign up for my newsletter. The link is below. Catch you next time.